Hi, it's Grandma Karen. You know a lot about your machine now. In our next lesson, we will put thread on the bobbin, which is called winding the bobbin. But first, we need to learn about a word you will hear me say often. The word is tension. In this video, we will be talking about the Bernina 335. Tension means tightness. When someone has a tension headache, it means they're feeling tightness in their neck or on their face or head. In sewing, tension is how tight the thread is while it goes through the sewing machine. There must be the same amount of tightness the whole time you are sewing. If not, the stitches won't form correctly. Your machine controls the tension on the top thread and controls the tension on the bobbin thread. The simple definition of thread tension is tightness of the thread. We will look at the dial that controls how tight the tension is on your machine at the end of the lesson. Let's pretend that this thick, colorful yarn is thread. When I hold the thread this way, it's very loose tension. When I hold it this way, it's good, tight, even tension. There are two tension discs inside your machine. The tension discs are what control the tension on the top thread. Pretend that these two pans are the tension discs. The yarn is the thread, which is laying loosely in the tension disc. When the presser foot is op up, these discs, these discs are open, so kind of like this. They're just laying in there. If I put the presser foot down, the tension discs close. Now the thread has tension on it. The thread will run smoothly with an even tension or tightness through the machine to the needle. It will form good stitches with the bottom thread. When the presser foot is up, the discs are open and the thread is loose again. We will experiment with this when we learn to thread the machine later. This is a stitch note. You will see this note in many of the coming lessons. They will help highlight things you should be doing to have smooth, even stitches. This note says the presser foot must be in the up position when threading the top of the machine. You will see the note again when we talk about threading the top of the machine in lesson eight. This is a rough drawing of two stitches. Stitch is another word you will hear a lot. These stitches are what are called straight stitches. The yellow arrow is pointing to one stitch. The blue arrows show you the start and ending of one stitch. In this drawing, you can see that one stitch is formed when the needle takes the thread into the fabric. There is a hook in the bobbin area that forms a loop with the pink top thread and green bobbin thread. The needle comes back up, the feed dog pushes the fabric back, and the needle goes back into the fabric to end the stitch. The next stitch starts in the same hole where the first stitch ends. They share a hole in the fabric. To help you understand good tension, let's look at some examples of good tension and bad tension. This is a straight stitch, a zigzag stitch, and a decorative stitch. A zigzag stitch is what is called a pattern stitch. It's made up of two stitches. The zigzag pattern looks like a line of Z's hooked together. The right stitch is a decorative stitch. It is also a pro pattern stitch. The stitches go from side to side and form its shape with narrow and wide stitches that are close together. All these stitches have good tension. See how each stitch looks flat and straight? I've used red thread in the top thread and green thread in the bobbin thread. No green bobbin thread is showing on these samples. Sometimes a little dot of green thread will show. That is okay. We usually use the same color of thread in the top and the bottom anyway. I've turned the fabric over for these photos. You can see the green bobbin thread now. The straight stitch and the zigzag stitch look smooth and even and have good tension. You should not be able to see red thread coming to the bobbin side. A tiny dot of red thread is okay. Remember, we're gonna be using the same color on the top and the bobbin when we sew. The decorative stitch has some of the red thread coming to the back. This is normal tension for decorative stitches. These two photos are of the red top thread and the green bobbin thread. The red thread on the left looks okay, but the green bobbin doesn't look good on the right. You can see a lot of red thread being pulled to the back of the stitches. These stitches have bad tension. If the top and bottom thread is being pulled to the wrong side of the fabric, it is bad tension. Your tension is bad if you see loops on the top or the bobbin thread, like these three photos. The stitches in the left photo are making the fabric gather. These stitches are pulling the fabric into them. Sometimes we want to make gathers on purpose, but in this sample, it is not good. We are trying to have flat, even, smooth stitches and fabric. The right photo shows stitches that are wobbly, not straight. In this photo on the left, you see a seam with skip stitches. This means that sometimes when the needle goes into the fabric, it doesn't form a stitch. The stitches are different sizes. Sometimes when we're doing a pattern stitch, you have what is called tunneling. 
like the photo on the right. The fabric is not laying flat, it's being pulled into the zigzag stitches. These are examples of bad stitches. Look at the left photo. We call this a bird's nest or a rat's nest. The bobbin thread has formed a huge mess. This is not good. The right photo shows the start of a seam that got pulled into the needle hole in the stitch plate. These are both bad ways to start a seam. I will show you some ways to prevent these two problems in later videos. You now know what a good stitch should look like. As we go through the lessons, we will talk about how to prevent the bad stitches. Your machine has a tension dial that makes the top thread tension tighter or looser. Let's take a look at this on your sewing machine. The tension or tightness of the thread as it feeds through your machine was set at the factory with a certain thickness of thread and using a certain size needle. Almost all machines have a dial that lets you change the tension that was set at the factory. If I use a very thick thread, the tension disc may be pushing too tightly on the thread. It is different from the factory thread. I will have to loosen the top tension to make room for the thicker thread. I'm not afraid to change the tension. I need to do it when I'm using special threads. But you're a beginner and you should not change the tension. If you feel that there is a problem with the tension, ask your mentor to help. Look in your machine's guidebook or take it to a sewing machine shop for a tune-up if there's a problem. Just like a car, it needs to be tuned up sometimes. This is the thread tension adjustment wheel right here on the top of your machine. It's also called the tension dial. And here are the tension discs right here inside your machine. Here's a close-up of the top of your machine. The red arrow is pointing to the tension discs inside your machine. The blue arrow shows the tension adjustment wheel. The green arrow is the tension indicator. Whatever number is lined up with this dot is what number the tension is set at. The red line in, on the dial is a normal tension for normal weight thread. It should be lined up with this dot. It's now time for your homework. Show the person helping you that you understand the following. One, describe what tension is. Two, what does a good stitch look like? Three, answer this question. What happens to the thread tension discs when the presser foot is up? Four, what happens when the presser foot is down? Five, point to the tension adjustment wheel. Point to the mark that indicates the normal tension setting for your machine. You now know a little more about what tension is. You know that a good stitch looks the same on the top thread side of the fabric and on the bobbin side of the fabric. In our next video, we will learn to wind thread onto the bobbin and you will learn a little bit more about thread. See you next time. And here's a note to the mentor. This lesson was just an introduction to what a good stitch looks like and what the tension actually is. Your student will learn to wind a bobbin in the next video. The following are needed for the lesson. A spool of thread, an empty bobbin, the machine with the cord, and the foot pedal. For best results, use one of these threads. A 50 weight cotton thread, or an all-purpose polyester thread, also called a sew-all thread, or cotton-covered polyester thread. Please try not to use top stitching thread, carpet thread, buttonhole thread, machine quilting thread, it's very thick, hand quilting thread, it has a glaze or a coating on it. Don't use rayon, nylon, metallic, elastic, or machine embroidery thread. And serger or overlock thread is too thin. Your bobbin must be a Bernina silver bobbin. You should buy it from a Bernina dealer to be sure that it is the exact fit for your machine. Other bobbins may look similar, but are not an exact fit. Thank you for helping someone learn to sew.